Mark Phillips, 73, spotted with rumored new girlfriend Florence Standard as they cheer on daughter Zara at Berkeley Horse Trials. Princess Anne's ex-husband Captain Mark Phillips was spotted back at Land Rover Burgley Horse Trials again today with his rumored new girlfriend as the pair cheered on his daughter Zara Tyndall once more. Phillips, 73, was pictured driving a Range Rover to the event with Belgian equestrian Florence Standard, who is thought to be almost the same age as the former Olympic gold medalist's daughter, 41-year-old Tyndall. The pair, who have been in attendance all week, were also seen driving around with a couple of dogs at the event in Lincolnshire. Thirty years on from his divorce to Princess Anne, Phillips, who turned 74 this month, was said to be inseparable from Standard as they watched the Queen's granddaughter compete in the long-awaited return of the trials on Thursday and Friday. She's his new girlfriend, a source at the event in Lincolnshire told the Daily Mail, referring to Standard, believed to be in her 40s. The trials, taking place across four days from Thursday to Sunday, have returned after a two-year hiatus, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Standart's long-term boyfriend, Thomas Rickewert, ran the War Gem Horse Trials in Belgium until his death at the age of 63 in 2019. And a year later, Phillips designed a cross-country course at Waragem, run by Standart. Phillips divorced Princess Anne, 72, in 1992 after 19 years of marriage. The couple got married at Westminster Abbey on November 14, 1973 as an estimated 500 million people watched on. Four years later, they had their son, Peter Phillips, before Princess Anne gave birth to their youngest child, Zara who would go on to marry former England rugby international, Mike Tyndall. Princess Anne is alleged to have had an affair with Sergeant Peter Cross, her then police bodyguard and member of the Royal Protection Squad. He began guarding 29-year-old Anne in the autumn of 1979 at Gatcombe Park in Gloucestershire and during royal engagements. At the time, she had been married to Captain Mark Phillips for six years. By September 1980, Mark Phillips is said to have become angered by their over-familiarity. Cross was told he would have to quit by Commander Michael Trestrail, the Queen's own bodyguard. But by the time Anne found out, Cross had already packed his bags and left his quarters. She is said to have gone to her room and wept. Whether or not the Queen was involved with the decision has never been revealed. Anne's first marriage finally fell apart after she embarked on an affair with Commander Tim Lawrence in the late 1980s. Cross then reared his head again, twisting the knife further by giving his own insights into her failed marriage to Mark Phillips. Princess Anne married Commander Lawrence, now a vice admiral, in December the same year she divorced Phillips.
Meanwhile, the Olympic gold medal winner married American dressage rider Sandy Fluger, 67, in 1997, but it was confirmed in 2012 that they had separated. Phillips, who has a reputed fortune of up to £20 million, had already become involved with another woman, Lauren Huff, 45, an American showjumper. Friends speculated in 2015 that he and Huff would soon get engaged, but the announcement never came. Former world champion and London 2012 British team silver medalist Tyndall, closed the opening day by posting a score of 28. Four on class affair to move fourth in a day of British domination. Sarah Bullimore underlined her credentials to land a first Land Rover Burghley Horse Trials title. Tyndall had looked relaxed as she walked around the cross-country course in Stamford, Lincolnshire, before competing. The daughter of Princess Anne seemed in her element as she strolled the grounds alongside a dog. Reflecting on the first day, Tyndall said, I am so pleased with that, he has always had the potential, but his brain takes over a bit, and it did a little bit in a couple of the movements, but he came back and he was much calmer than he has ever been in there. I am delighted to be under, a score of 30. It leaderboard, will probably change a bit tomorrow, but at least you are giving yourself a shout, aren't you? A total prize fund of more than £320,000 is the largest in Berkeley's 61-year history, with dressage followed by Saturday's cross-country phase and the showjumping finale 24 hours later. Everyone here understands the cost and time it takes to produce a five-star horse, Berkeley event director Martin Johnson said. And the increased prize money reflects the board's commitment to ensure that Land Rover Burghley continues to be at the pinnacle of our sport.